the Detroit Pistons, as we all know, have hired Monty Williams. And uh, two days ago, yesterday, depends on when you see this, two days ago, um, he had his interview. And, and by interview, I mean his press conference. And I said it in the title of this video, this hire just has a different level of excitement. It just feels different. And there's so many reasons for that. And I want to go over a couple of them, but I've never really seen a press conference like this one. The last time I saw a press conference where there was like someone who came in and, and created this kind of a spark, this kind of an excitement, honestly, was was Dan Campbell. But it was in a completely different way. Monty Williams is chill. He is he is emotional. Uh, he even admitted that in the press conference that he'll cry when uh, good things happen. Um and it brought emotion to him when he saw that the entire Pistons team minus one player um, were present. They were all there. They wanted to meet their new coach. They wanted to support him. They wanted to say, hey, we got your back at this press conference and let everybody know that we are thrilled that you are here, Monty. So that's exactly what they did. Uh, that's cool. That's rare. And that's part of the reason this feels different. But I want to talk a second about Monty Williams. And let's just put aside for a second the basketball coach. We all know he's a good basketball coach. Monty Williams won me over in a completely different way. And I don't usually go into this in this channel, um, but it was unbelievably cool. Monty Williams has been through so much when you talk about his wife in 2016 who was um, killed in a car accident. And if you haven't watched the video of Monty Williams giving the eulogy, um, talking about his faith, talking about what was getting him through uh, in that season, give it a watch. It's unbelievable the strength that he showed. And now here he is coming to Detroit he shares. He just can't help but be open and honest. Does that remind you of anybody else in the Motor City? Does it? Like MCDC, Motor City, Dan Campbell, he can't lie. And Monty Williams, it's the same thing. Nobody knew he was going to share about his wife's um, breast cancer. And it looks like it was an early detection. It looks like she is going to be okay. Cancer's scary. But he shared it. And he let an entire city, an entire country in to his living room for a second. And it's because he feels the love. It's because he knows that honesty is the best policy and he's just going to be true with where he's at. And then we go to find out that Tom Gorris, like, are you kidding me, Tom? Like, good for you, man. Like the way him and Troy went into this and, and Troy even took a moment to talk about Tom. And I understand like sometimes you need to pat the owner on the back. This felt different. Like there was almost emotion in it. And they were talking about how Tom not only welcomed Monty into his home, but he is giving Monty Williams. They're going to help them find housing. That's standard. They're going to give him private jet usage. This is like NFL, not even NFL head coach. This is like the last time I heard of a coach and I know there's been more, but the last time I publicly heard of a coach getting a private jet uh, to help with his family and be back and forth and stuff like that was USC. Uh, last year and so and that worked out pretty well for them this isn't a normal standard NBA practice um, and 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 that's exactly what Troy Weaver said he said nope this he thought outside of the box and he's like I can't believe we wanted to get this done and then you hear him talk about it Philadelphia wanted him Milwaukee wanted him like they were the best teams in the league that all wanted Monty Williams and where is he He's in Detroit, everybody. This is not something we are used to in Detroit. And I love that our ownership group was willing to go out, spend, he was willing to spend his money to get this done. We know this doesn't go against the cap. And if you didn't, you do now. This doesn't go against the cap. And you have Monty Williams who comes in here. He says he's going to marry himself to the job. He's going to work hard. And he was just dead honest. Another spot where most people aren't going to be honest is what brought you here. He talked about the locker room. He talked about the ownership. He talked about the money. And he's like, people don't talk about money. He's like, I think that's, that's not, that's, I don't know exactly how he praised, uh, phrased it, but he basically said that's disingenuous. Like, that's not real. Like, of course you're going to accept the money. What do you mean? It's not about the money. Like that type of money is going to change his life. 
and it's going to give him security. They are going to give him health care benefits along with his wife. Like they are basically saying, we got you, man. No matter what happens, they give him a long contract. He's set. He doesn't have to worry about medical bills. He doesn't have to worry about finances. He doesn't have to worry about um, any of that stuff so he can concentrate on the job. He's got a jet that can get him to and from his family very quickly as he gets started with the Pistons here. So, and and as they're moving and stuff, because he has, I, Tom Gore said he had six kids. I, I knew he had five. I didn't know he was six. He must have had another child. And so, like, um, you know, I think five was with his first wife, and now maybe he has another child with his wife that he married in 2019. This is unbelievable. This is about so much more than basketball. But basketball's there. So when they interviewed some of the players, when they interviewed Monty afterward, Valley Sports went around and did standing interviews, and um, they talked to Cade Cunningham. Cade Cunningham said it is the best scenario. It's the best scenario. Like, you don't get better than Monty Williams. Um, most of the time, players are going to say, hey, excited to have him, excited to have him as coach, can't wait to get, can't wait to, get to work. Cade was like, no, no, no. This is best case scenario. Jay Nivey, yep, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Monty Williams talked about how hard this team works. He talked about how good these players can be, but he talked about how Ivy was always in the gym, um, that Jaden Wiseman is, uh, or James Wiseman is there like at eight in the morning, which for NBA, that's early time. Right. And and he talked about how people in the on this team are willing to put in the work and willing to get better. Here's the other good news on this. There were a couple of other people in this in the crowd. All right. There was reported that Mark Bryant and potentially Jarrett Jack would be on the staff. They were there in restore sweats. Like it was it was loaded. So they're there. You might like we all hope that those guys would be on the staff and they're there. Monty Williams told uh, WXYZ reporter, he said, we've got our staff in place. Like, he's been working in the background. We knew he had Steven Silas. We knew he had a defensive guy. We hoped he had Jack. We hoped he had Bryant. Like, yup, he's got him. <laughs> I am just super, super excited about this. And and I hope you are, too. Um, it's going to be fun off season. Everybody, this makes the draft more exciting because of the potential for it. This makes free agency more exciting. This makes um, potential trades more exciting. It makes everything more exciting when you finally feel like, because we all thought Dwayne Casey might be good enough. No, we didn't. We didn't all think that. Some of you really didn't. But here's what we know. Monty Williams can get it done. So if the right staff is in place, and by the right staff, I mean the right roster, and of course, coaching staff. Monty Williams went out of his way to talk about how important a good coaching staff is and a good training staff, good medical staff. Um, he went out of his way to talk about all those things. So yeah, uh, let's, let's have this conversation. It's time to be even more excited about the Pistons. It's time to buy in, get on the train early y'all. That's what I always say. Get on the train early. That's what you got to do. All right. Hey, we'll see you on the next one. Hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, uh, we love putting out Pistons content. It is the time of that year. The NFL is going into hibernation mode. And for the next six weeks, the NBA rules the sports landscape. Get on the train. See you guys on the next one.